Did you have a sock go missing? Find dryer lint in your closet? Or have a feeling of being watched? You may be suffering from an infestation of the elusive house hippo. If you're a Canadian, you will most certainly have fond memories of this. All is quiet. Or is it? The North American house hippo is found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. House hippos are very timid creatures and are rarely seen. But they will defend their territory if provoked. They come out at night to search for food, water, and materials for their nests. The favorite foods of the house hippo are chips, raisins, and the crumbs from peanut butter on toast. They build their nests in bedroom closets, using lost mittens, dryer lint, and bits of string. The nests have to be very soft and warm. House hippos sleep about 16 hours a day. That looked really... Real, but you knew it couldn't be true, didn't you? That's why it's good to think about what you're watching on TV and ask questions, kind of like you just did. Made by the concerned children's advertisers in the late 1990s, this clever ad was unleashed on the Canadian television viewer. It was a stroke of brilliance, blending reality with fantasy so seamlessly that many viewers were left bewildered, questioning if these little creatures could indeed exist. Of course, the point of the public service announcement was to teach children to question what they saw on television advertisements. To bring the little house hippo to life, a meticulous process unfolded. First, they gathered footage of real animals like hedgehogs and hamsters to study their movements and behaviours up close. Then, using state-of-the-art puppetry and animatronics, they crafted tiny hippo models with lifelike textures and features. With the magic of filmmaking, a blend of editing, miniature sets and skilled puppeteers, scenes were orchestrated to make it appear as though tiny hippos were roaming through real homes. Every detail, from crumbs on the table to miniature furniture, was designed to sell the illusion. The key, however, was the narrative. A deadpan narrator delivered facts about the house hippo's habits in a matter-of-fact tone, blurring the line between reality and fantasy. In 2019, Media Smarts brought back the house hippo in a new commercial to teach the lesson that not all is what it seems and to use critical thinking in the age of media fascination. As night falls, 37 million Canadians turn out their lights and settle down for the night. But as we sleep, there's something interesting going on. House hippos have returned to Canadian homes, but they're extremely hard to spot. They enjoy admiring their reflections, hoarding socks, helping themselves to your devices, and annoying your pets. It looks like Canada has a house hippo problem. Or do we? We brought back the house hippo to show how easy it is to be fooled in our digital world. Find out how to tell what's real and what's not at breakthefake.ca. The North American house hippo has become a Canadian icon, sparking its own urban dictionary page, various product lines from t-shirts and mugs to signs and dog collars, songs, band names, and many video parodies. Members of Facebook pages devoted to thrifting are always on the lookout to find a small hippo figurine to add to their homes. There are even Facebook pages specifically dedicated to the house hippo. One such states, regardless of our esteemed colleagues' frivolous claims that house hippos are extinct, we are currently seeking evidence to the contrary. If you have a house hippo living in your home, take a photo or video of it in its natural habitat and send it in. Some people didn't seem to get the PSA's message about critical thinking, and now, almost two decades later, the realistic-looking commercial is having an impact. 
more and more millennial home buyers are inquiring about house hippos to both sellers and home inspectors when looking to purchase their first property. In some cases, they're even mentioning it in the conditions for buying a home, that the property must be free of the fictional house hippo as well as other pests such as bed bugs and mice. I really had no idea, said a 25-year-old first-time buyer. The sellers of the home literally had to sit me down and show me the ad again to prove that the house hippos aren't real. It was a bit embarrassing. I guess I never really paid attention to the end of the ad, he said. Sadly, the North American house hippo isn't real and has become the stuff of legend. But if they were real, wouldn't you want one? Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, there are a few things you can do to support our channel. Give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and leave a comment. Please consider giving us a super thanks on YouTube or buy us a coffee so we can continue bringing you interesting content. Let us know if there's a Canadian story you'd like us to cover in a future episode. For more videos about Canada, please subscribe and ring the bell icon to be notified of our next upload.